this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Draw channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Google Voice to turn your iPhone voicemails into emails or texts. So has this ever happened to you? You happen to open up your phone app and you realize that you have six voicemails that you haven't listened to? Some of these could be days old since you haven't been checking your voicemail regularly. If you've watched my overview video on the processes that I use to cope with my ADHD brain, you'll know that I try to use Gmail to single stream all of the information that comes into my life. So that means getting my voicemails into my email inbox. For my landline, I use a digital service that Verizon provides, but I needed to be slightly more creative for my iPhone voicemails. So essentially in this case, what you're doing is replacing the indigenous iPhone voicemail service with Google Voices service, which is more feature rich. Frankly, I don't even understand all of the services that Google Voice provides, but since I only use it for this very narrow purpose, I feel okay about that. <laughs> so let's walk through the steps. Step one, sign up for a Google Voice account at voice.google.com. Since this is one of the suite of free services that Google provides, if you already have a Gmail account, then you already have this service available to you, but you do need to activate it by clicking on Get Google, Google Voice. You can usually choose a number that is within your area code, but the number is actually not um, important at all for this purpose. Step two, connect your cell phone with Google Voice. So enter your cell phone number when you're prompted and then follow the instructions to link your cell phone number with Google Voice using a text message or a phone call. Step number three, install the Google Voice app on your phone and sign in so that you can see and listen to messages on your phone within this app. Step number four, turn on conditional call forwarding with your cellular provider. Okay, so this is where things get a little tricky. I'm going to show you how to do this if you have Verizon Wireless as your provider, but if not, you'll have to figure out how to do this with your specific carrier. You may need to call and ask for instructions on how to turn on conditional call forwarding. If you just turn on regular call forwarding, so that means that instead of your cell phone ringing, it will automatically be forwarded to another number. Instead, conditional call forwarding means that it will only be forwarded if certain conditions are met. So in this case, we want it to forward only if the call is unanswered or busy. In other words, instead of going to voicemail, we want the call to ring the Google Voice number instead. Most carriers will have a specific code to dial directly from your phone to turn this service on. For Verizon, you dial star 72 and then the 10 digit number that you want to forward calls to. For example, here is a text string that you might dial. After you hit send, you should get three beeps which is a confirmation that it worked. Step number five, forward voicemails to email or to text. So this is best to do from a computer browser since the mobile apps and websites don't give nearly as many options. Okay, so to make sure that this is set up properly, log into voice.google.com and bring up the top menu, which is three lines or three dots, they both take you to the same place, and then choose settings. Um, now, select voicemail, and then you can choose whether you want to receive voicemails by text, by email, or both. Step six, um, optionally set up custom voicemail. I have no idea why they made this so di difficult, but if you want to change the standard voicemail, you also need to do this from a computer browser. Bring up the top menu, and this time choose Legacy Google Voice. Okay, so now you're in the old interface, which they clearly haven't migrated everything from yet. So hit the gears icon, and then settings, and then voicemail and text. And here you can record a brand new greeting, or you can record just your name, which would be used in conjunction with the standard greeting. So just a note, the service will call your phone to have you record the greeting using your phone. So now we're done. Not only did this take me forever to figure out originally, it actually took me almost as long to figure it out the second time just to do this video. So let's do a quick demo. I'm going to call myself from my landline and leave a message.
This is a test message to show how well this Google Voice voicemail works. Okay, so I have this set up to send me a text and an email. So here's the email and here's the text message. The transcription isn't always perfect, but it's generally, it's generally good enough that I don't even usually need to listen to the audio file. Let me know how you make out. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.